come with me if you want to live. Is there anything that we can give you? Don't call me Kick Puncher. Call me David. Greetings, my friends, and welcome to episode number 12 of Computer Crane Kick. The show where we sit down with rad people who are doing rad things. Before we introduce today's guest, I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to not only all of the producers who have been on the show, but to all of you for watching. Thank you for your continued support. You watching enables me to have a show which I can then invite guests on to. So thank you very much. Today we sit down with our guest and we talk about their introduction to Synthwave, their inspirations, and so much more. As always, this is organic conversation, not an interview. My name is Dread. That was Kick Puncher. And this is something else. And you're watching Computer Crane Kick. All right, man, this has been a long time in the making. We've been talking for months and finally sit down and have a conversation. So thanks a lot for coming on, man. I really appreciate you taking hey. the time. We made it. Yeah, We here. made it. We're here. <laughs> it's especially yeah, it difficult long. when you're in Australia and I'm in Canada. Yeah, no, time zones. I don't, don't, don't know much about them. No, honest. I know. So, I, I still don't understand <laughs> how you're in my future. Like that, something it's just about, weird to me. Something to do with the sun. Yeah, yeah the sun. Time, time is a time is a flat circle, you know that old, old spiel. And also, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's your summer right now. It is. It's fucking hot. Yeah, right now. it's fucking. I'm, it's I'm winter. Right it's fucking winter for me. There's snow on the ground outside, so it's like <laughs> uh, I don't fucking get it. It's it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Dude, yeah, I res respect the mustache. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I got it just just for this. No so way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you actually? I was, yeah, yeah. Like I've been growing for like the last two weeks, like it, and making sure that it's perfect just for this. That's fucking awesome. Get into just some music chat right off the hop, man. I yeah. want to know what got you in a synth wave. Um, it was Far Cry Three Blood Dragon. I don't oh, know if you ever remember that game, dude? You're the th like, you're the third person I know that that game got yeah. them in a fucking synth wave. Welcome to the future. The year is 2007. Nuclear war has nearly destroyed our planet. Now, an evil presence seeks to enslave what's left of humanity. And there's only one thing that can stop it. Nobody threatens my planet. Michael Bean is Sergeant Rex Power Colt. A Mark IV Cyber Commando, who's part man, part machine, and all American. Far Cry 3. Oh, shit. Blood Dragon. It, hey, it's a fantastic game. Came out of nowhere. Yeah. I remember uh, sitting at my mate's house when it was like, I think I was 17. Just finished high school and like doing nothing. And so we just like basically smoking weed and just chilling out was that yeah. day and uh we turned his like ps3 on and there was like an ad for it like this demo yeah and I'm like fuck but we'll download it we went down to the shops and like got some food and came back and started playing it and as soon as it started i was like what is this music like what is the soundtrack to this it sounds like the terminator like it sounds like and then it went full 80s you know all the references and the... <laughs> yeah but the soundtrack especially when power core started playing I was immediately like, I have to look up who did this soundtrack. This is mm. insane. And I found it was Power Glove. And ever yeah. since then, I was like huge into them. They're Australian so too, aren't was... they? Yeah, they're from Melbourne. That's wicked. Yeah. Which is like an eight hour drive from where I am. So oh, okay. Just just down the road. <laughs> just down the road. <laughs> just so, yeah, so. Halfway across the just... continent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a long drive. It's Apparently, it's a nice drive. I've heard. It's uh, all along the coast. You've right never along. done it? 
No, I've never been to Melbourne. It's uh never made the trip. I should, yeah. I should though. I should definitely. I got offered to do a gig down there one time. By, oh um, yeah. Zero, is it zero tonin? Oh, is zero to nine. Zero to nine. Zero to nine. Zero tonin. I always thought it was playing serotonin. I'm so. It dumb. might be. It it probably <laughs> is. That actually makes a lot of sense. Now I don't know. Now I don't know. I don't know what zero to nine is. So maybe I'm the fucking zero idiot. What is zero to zero nine? To nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Zero to nine. But what's zero uh, tonin? Yeah. Serotonin. Yeah, I maybe it's like yeah, it's like cyberpunk serotonin. <laughs> it's like serotonin. a drug. They inject yeah, it's it. It's a drug. It's yeah, like it's nuke drug. nuke, yeah. right? From yeah, Robocop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll settle on both. It's both. Okay. It's both at this time, yeah. Now I don't know. Um, it's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you offered me to play a gig down there a couple of years back. And I've been meaning to, but I just haven't yeah i just i've never knew how to do a live set and honestly i don't i don't think i will i'm not sure if i'm a live person i think yeah. it's just the audit i think it's just an audio experience I that's think. fair man yeah so uh, I, so you've yeah. never you've never played live then i did one i did uh oh no i did two gigs in my hometown and um the first one was all right the second one i was really hung over and i just didn't have a good time and i just i don't know i just didn't like that i was basically just mixing like the whole time, like I was just kind of just basically fucking with audio settings and occasionally effects. Right. I found it quite boring and I didn't really, I wanted to try and implement some other stuff. Oh, I did play some stuff live on my like MIDI pad, but. Oh, okay. Apart from that. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I just wanted to, wanted to be better experienced next time. Right. I don't know. I don't know if I can be bothered. I'm more of a guitarist and a um, sort of live music person in yeah. that regard. With right. like sort of more band stuff. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, but that's how I got into uh, yeah synthwave was uh, Blood Dragon, and then I found new retrowave on YouTube after like looking up a bunch of different songs, mm -hmm. and I uh, found uh, Noir Deco was probably the next band. I don't know if you know them. I actually don't. Noir Deco, they're old school. Like they were like one of the first synthwave acts. I think they like started in, like 2010 or some shit. Oh yeah, dude, and, that's um, uh, it's not common that I don't know a synthwave group, so I'm actually writing that down. <laughs> do my fucking homework yeah. here. Yeah, no, they were. They, I don't. I think they quit. I think they quit eventually, like maybe six or seven years ago. But their first few albums or the first few EPs or whatever tracks they had were so good. Nice, so so good. They were just like um, exactly what you'd hear in like uh. And a movie, basically. They made really good 80s soundscape movies. <laughs> so it wasn't exactly as, like, you know, pumpy and dancey as the stuff now yeah. is. But, like, it was... Ex it just sounded like it was straight from an 80s movie, which is what I think originally got me straight into this scene yeah it's like yeah because being terminator is like my favorite movie which is i see it still playing what scene are we at it looks like we're at hotel yeah sir just connor bef just before the finale it's either just before the bang or just before the finale yeah just before the bang yeah <laughs> just before yeah yeah it is yeah anyway yeah so yeah that's where that's how i got into it yeah that's a good game man i haven't actually beat blood dragon i've bought it recently because i heard so much good things and also anytime there's a character named rex power colt yeah rex power colt voiced, voiced by michael bean. by michael bean yeah i'm fucking in and yeah, yeah, yeah. the first fucking intro sequence has so many references to like Predator. There's a whole yeah, bunch. Yeah. He's like shooting a fuck. He's shooting old Painless out of the chopper. Mm, There's yeah, yeah, like yeah. a whole bunch of shit that happens like right away that I'm like, holy fuck, this is just pure nostalgia throwing every 80s movie reference at me right did away. You, did you notice what pistol you're using? I didn't. It's Robocop's. It's Robocop's gun. Oh, no way. Yeah, 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 that's fucking awesome. That, yeah, that's that's the pistol. That's yeah, so good. Sick. Yeah, 
And I like the tutorial as well. He's just like, ah, I fucking hate tutorials. Yeah. Like, just get me to the game. Breaking <laughs> the fucking fourth wall. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, that game's very <laughs> self aware, but Power Glove fucking destroyed that soundtrack. Power Glove killed it. I love Power Glove so much. They were like probably my biggest inspirations for so long until I heard Carpenter Brute. And then Carpenter Brute became a very big inspiration. Yeah. It's not, not very. You might not notice, like, you know, you might not notice that he's inspiration, but... <laughs> I definitely noticed yeah, yeah. in your earlier stuff that Power Glove was an inspiration. That was actually something yeah, sure. that I wrote down. I was like, dude, this, I can tell, has some fucking inspiration from Power Glove. And yeah. especially in 2029, I think that was your first EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there was, um... It's like, um... Recall... There's another. Yeah. There were some sounds think, in there that I was like, that's, I, I feel some Power Glove vibe here. <laughs> Man, I haven't listened to those in probably like years. I have, I can't even remember what they sound like to Dude, be honest. Dude, they're good. <laughs> they're good. So I think Street Fight, I remember, I remember I, like, my go to was to copy other people's music to start off with and then make it my own. Yeah. And so I remember Street Fight <laughs> was supposed to be a Kavinsky sort of ish like power glove style track yeah because it's supposed to be like a testarossa auto drive i don't know if you know that song yeah I mean, it's like yeah uh it's like that so i tried to do that with like the right right with street fight yeah yeah and um so that a lot of my early stuff is me trying to find basically uh, i guess learning how to make music by copying other people's music to start off with and yep. that was yeah that was that was how i made a lot of the early stuff and i kind of came into my started like you know making my own stuff and figuring out what sounds good with me once i was more comfortable with the software and you know my writing abilities later on yeah with, um the my first album what's it called horizon yeah yeah there's a big difference from i can't remember your album just before that was it something else or was it yeah, night, some, uh, something else? Oh, was it was the night yeah, at Fortress, Fortress Hill. Hill. Fortress Hill, which is a yeah, Fortress Hill is just a. I looked up on a map, found a cool spooky place that sounded spooky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that'll do. Fortress, dude. I actually, cool. I actually fucking love the track "Spooky." That it came on, and I was like, oh yeah, this is a fucking wicked track. It's good, it, <laughs> dude. It's good horror synth, genuine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that's what that the whole thing was supposed to be. Yeah supposed to be like horror synth but um there is there is a huge jump between because there was so much in between those two because i think it's like three years difference yeah between those two releases and between those was your first contribution to magnetron and i wanted yeah. to ask if that had anything to do with you finding this new sound that you then used in horizon yeah yeah it definitely did um especially seeing how popular it was at the time like right. the fact that a lot of people liked that sort of because i guess was that was resolution the darker on Mag resolution, yeah, yeah on magnetron yeah okay i was always going for the darker and sort of like you know heavier shit well not really heavy it was more like yeah 80s horror sort mm -hmm. of style that's what was kind of what i was going for a lot of the time and then i realized that this really nice ending that like a lot of people really liked the ending to that song where they made loops of it and shit and like oh wicked yeah, so I kind of realized, like, oh, it doesn't all need to be sad and heavy. Like, it all doesn't need to all be, like, dark and, you know, angry. It can be it, it can be niceness. Yeah. Know? So I kind of, like, tried to take that and use that to a lot of the other stuff as well. So it wasn't always specifically dark synth. It was, yeah, you kind of get a mix of both. Totally. And that's what, like, like the opening to, what do you call it, Horizon is just, like, was like a fantasy sort of style song i wanted to write yeah whereas it's like yeah and um yeah so yeah magatron was crazy i can't believe i got on that to be honest how did that happen <laughs> tell me about that what was it like getting on magnetron that was the first magnetron they made too and you got yeah. on that i um so i was previously on one of the other eps that they released like a free one called equinox and with a track called run a gunner <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
they had a like a competition sort of thing where people sent songs in and they this was new retro wave by the way yep they had a competition where people would send songs in and be like oh yeah and then we'll choose one and i was so they chose my one right nice. and then after that i submitted just kept submitting songs to them and then they reached out and were like oh we're starting a label like do you want to be part of our first release and i was like hell yeah and then i like, send what you like they were just like send something through that you've got going and i was like yeah sure so i sent through like a very rough edit of um resolution and they were like yeah this is gold but yeah we'll take this <laughs> yeah. nice yeah. dude and so i ended up finishing it off and then sent through and then yeah and then two years later i actually didn't hadn't really done much since then so i had been working on this the horizon for like ages and then i finally got it done and like was pretty happy with the result i'm not too these days my mixing could be way better it could i definitely could have like actually mixed a lot of shit on that way better but i feel like it's first work so <laughs> and i don't know um it's solid yeah dude. i sent that i, I like yeah. horizon the whole album is a great listen dude so, someone that. actually bought me it which was really cool really yeah just randomly Damn. on Bandcamp. like i don't even know this person they just shout out to pgk 1991 whoever you are fucking thanks for buying me horizon that was yeah. pretty cool um they just all of a sudden it showed up and they were like hey this is a great listen all the way through i i don't want to hurt their feelings i had already listened to it but i <laughs> i appreciated it nonetheless i was like fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking right but yeah i've i mean i've been listening to your whole discography for the last few days and um i did no i did notice that i did notice that you bought everything and i appreciate that so oh, thank you very much of course dude i <laughs> i always make sure i support like i've been listening to it all and then i'm like okay well i'm gonna buy it all because I've been listening to it all for fucking yeah, yeah. for a week. So, you yeah, know, of course, man, but I, I really enjoy horizon. I think it sounds great, man. I appreciate that. I really do. It was like, yeah, it was very special moment for me releasing that one. It was, yeah. Uh, that was your, it was like, like technically your first LP. It was. Yeah. Yeah. It was the first one. And like, I was so surprised that I got to release it through, I guess an indie label, but still a label. Nonetheless, that was uh, no doubt. pretty popular. And that is still pretty popular. And so it kind of blew my mind for a while. And it blew my mind that people listened to it a lot and that, um, you know, actually liked it. And um, so like read reviews for it and shit online and people were like, yeah, this is great. That's honest. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah. But yeah. So that, yeah, I was sitting on that for like a little while and I was, wasn't even sure if, um, wasn't even sure if New Retro were going to pick me up because I hadn't really spoken to them for like a while. So... I sent it through, and then, yeah, they were just like, yeah, sweet. Yeah, this sounds cool. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I don't, you didn't really have to stress that much, to be oh, honest. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, is that all that yeah. we have to do here? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all. Yeah, they're like, yeah, we'll do the rest. I was like, oh, cool. That's pretty yeah, rad said, yeah, that... Just sign, just sign this. <laughs> that's pretty rad that you had already been writing or had mostly d had, like, most of your draft done for resolution. I was kind of curious if there was any contribution from new retro wave or any direction of anything that contributed to you making resolution. What was writing resolution like for you? How did you get to writing resolution? Mm. Because it is a lot different from something else. It's something else yeah. from something else. <laughs> mm. So uh, I really, I don't fucking remember. <laughs> That's fair, honest. man. That I was do, like what? 20, I, 2014 probably. Uh, yeah. I would have wrote, written it in 2014. Or maybe the start of 2015. Yeah. So that's like nearly eight years ago. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, We're going back. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to... I do remember wanting to make something really... That was heavy at the time. And I was like, oh yeah, I want to make something that's going to sound like really bopping. Like... Bop, bop, dun, 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 and that was going to... Yeah, yeah. That was going to be like sort of a drive and very force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's very much... It's just a riff. It's a very simple guitar riff. It's like... It works. Like it could be... It could be a Metallica riff if you play fast enough. Straight up. Right, right, right. But then I think halfway through, I was just like... I think... I'm trying to think. I was listening to a lot of... um more cinematic stuff at the time yep so i kind of wanted to give it like a cinematic ending and i remember that that whole the way it sounds was an accident the way the arpeggio sounds where it's like and it kind of sounds like wishy-washy almost where it sounds like waving it's kind of like yeah 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 panning. that was it that was an accident i put the wrong effect on and nice. I, listened to it, I was like oh i was like oh wait, wait a second this sounds sick <laughs> i was like leave that on it's yeah, a happy yeah. accident yeah and then 
yeah, and then I think I just like decided to I went tried to go more cinematic with the ending of it, and also added a little bit of justice flavor with some of the the, the way the beats dropped. I don't know if you listen to Justice yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah, like kind of like the where the bass is like bump 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 bump, like kind of like that French sort of electro sort of right the stops and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So there was like a couple of influences that were going in to it, but yeah, and I think that was when I realized that it it didn't need to just like. The synth, the th- I didn't even realize it was called synthwave at the time. Yeah, but like the synthwave, well, I didn't realize it didn't need to be entirely synth. It didn't need all the like eighties. It didn't need to right. be, but like, like it, it could definitely have like the the influences there. And so that's what then the rest of it, like straight up, like start. That's when I started thinking that you can make um the music from a different standpoint where it doesn't need to be exactly eighties. It right. can be like uh, I'm trying to think of what one of the songs on Horizon now. Oh, reset even. <clears throat> Reset's got like trap drums and shit like that. Was like like the hi hats are like straight from like like a trap beat. Yeah. And um and then the and the drop in that is like a trap beat with like right. That's a that's a trap beat. Yeah. So like I started incorporating shit like that into it, and that's where where it kind of got to. So there, that's my writing process anyway. The new album that I've got. Has a lot of guitar in it, actually. So. Oh, nice. That's uh, that. Yeah, that'll be breakdown fun. So, included. Yeah, yeah. There's one track called "No Fate," which I don't want to spoil it, but it. I think it's. I think it's going to be the next single that's going to be released on New Retro Wave. It's nice. Either that one or there's another track called "Showdown." Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this. I don't think it matters. Oh well. I can edit it out. You don't. You don't have <laughs> no, to say no, it if no, you're worried no, about it'll it. It'll be. It'll be fine. A- anyway, there's there's a, there is a. <laughs> There is a um, uh, track called No Fate on the new album that is uh, going to have a breakdown, but it's also a solo at the same time. So, like, there's going to be both. Just It's going to... It hits hard. It hits hard. I showed my mate, and he was just like... He gave me the stank face. He's like... Oh. "Oh." Oh." (laughs) Yeah. That's the best. That's what you want, man. That face. Yeah. And I'm going to give a shout out to Hunter Norton, who did the solo on that track. Fuck yeah. yeah. Axe Shredder himself. Yeah, actually, yeah, he did. He did a crazy good solo for me. Nice, Love dude. I'm stoked to hear awesome. that. Yeah, he's wicked. Yeah. He's he's a fucking wicked artist. Great guitar player, man. Yeah, no, incredible, incredible. Put me to shame. I mean, I wrote the riffs, but damn, this guy he sprinkled that seasoning on it. It was perfect. He's got the <laughs> he's got the chops. Yeah, he's got the chops, man. He's got more than the chops. He's have the you have you been playing guitar for a while? Like, did you play guitar before you got into synth? Yeah, I but I was never like practicing. Right. I was more of a pick it up, <laughs> yeah. play along with songs. Yeah. So I never really practiced. I can play yep. to an extent, but I'm not exceptionally good. I, I'm trying to practice soloing these days, but my fingers, I got these fat ass fucking fingers. <laughs> they struggle. They struggle trying to hit all the notes. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's fair, dude. But I'm good. I'm good at the chugginess. I can chug. I can chug all along. Hell yeah. I was just going to ask if, if writing synth and your project of Kick Puncher was actually your first step into writing music. Uh, no, I was in a band. And like, um, okay, cool. In high school, I think. Yeah. Because yeah, I started, started um, Kick Puncher just after I finished high school, probably a few months after. And um, it wasn't actually me. It was three of us. It was originally three oh, of really? us in this group. Yeah. But... Um, only the, <laughs> yeah, only the strong survive. Yeah, only the strong survive. I kicked them out. I was yeah. like, I'm going, Bre- I'm going Brendan Yuri on you. Yeah. It's just me now. Yeah. This is a solo project. <laughs> Fucking kick rocks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's too much, there was too much disagreement. No, no. They, yeah. just, they a couple, one of them moved away and then the, the other one um, ended up moving away again later. So I was just like, oh, I'll just do this by myself. Yeah, that's fair, man. Our, idea, our, our original idea was to make a tracks one each and then we're going to do an EP and like we'd all have our own track on it. Oh, okay. But. I made like three and then I was like, are you guys going to ever do this? And they're like, oh, we're getting around to it. And I was like, no, fuck you guys. I'm just uh, going to release this. <laughs> we'll see if we, if it comes out, like it's your first EP. Like was no, that, no one's going to listen to this. Was that 2029? Um, yeah. 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 That's awesome. Yeah. That's a great origin so, yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then after that, it was, my friend actually came up with the name because we were thinking of a name and he was like, oh, what about kick puncher from community? Cause we we're watching community at the time. And I was just like, kick punch. I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Why not? Nice. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> okay, what's the yeah. what's the story from Community? I haven't, I, I'm not familiar. Oh, okay. I know the so, show, but I don't know what Kick Puncher is from it. So Kick Puncher is a, uh, 
in the show, there's a fictional TV, a uh, fictional movie called Kick Puncher, <laughs> oh. where Kick Puncher is a, basically a parody of like Robocop and like all the 80s characters. Oh, dude, so that's wicked. That's, that's, it's very meta. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very meta. That so there, there is an 80s reference in there. But, yeah. Yeah. If the shoe fits, man, that's <laughs> fucking perk. Fits, yeah. <laughs> I am Kick Puncher. My cyber punches have the power of kicks. <laughs> I am Punch Kicker. Meet your match. I had some theories. I had some fucking theories. I was like, okay. Yeah. I was like, kick punch, or maybe it's because, like, you know, a punchy kick. You hear people say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, yeah. okay, it could be that. But then um, I always think when I hear kick punch, I think of the movie Hot Rod. Do you, you know uh, Hot Rod? Yeah, 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 when he yeah, throws yeah, the Rod. ultimate punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, I'm like, <laughs> it's kind of like a kick punch, but yeah, I'm like, yeah, there's yeah. no way it's that. There's no way it's fucking that. That's but, right. I used to uh, do this thing with my mates all the time. Where, because of that movie, would be like, God's a war. Yeah. Like, just yell it out to each other. Oh, yeah. And then we just hear across the room be like, may your hammer be my dude. dude. Like, yeah, dude, that shit all the fucking I time. did the same thing. <laughs> me, and, me and my buddy, we would fucking grab each other behind the neck and touch foreheads because of that <laughs> fucking movie. <laughs> so good. Uh, and we would say yeah. that exact thing. God yeah. of war. So <laughs> yeah. May your hammer be my <laughs> <laughs> so good. And then oh, the fucking. <laughs> Gods of war. May your hammer be mighty. Here I am. I love that movie, man. It's a good fucking uh, movie. I haven't watched it in a while. That's one that I actually want to put on VHS. That would be a good one to put on VHS. The soundtrack alone would sound yeah. so good coming from vhs i've only done yeah. i've only put two tapes on vhs so far and john wick is one because i mean mm. that movie yeah, you gotta do that so fucking good so and fun. uh kick ass <laughs> kick ass was the other one. Oh yeah oh man i haven't seen kick ass and I, I used to watch it all the time dude it's a time. good fucking movie yeah yeah so I just rewatched it. Cage kills it in that movie. Oh, yeah. Big Daddy, he's so fucking good in that yeah, movie. Big, he's hilarious. Kick, kick ass, more like ass kick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Hit Girl in it was so good, uh, man. Yeah, yeah, she was great. Uh, I fucking love that movie. She swears like heaps in that movie, right? Oh, like, yeah, she's, like, she's saying kind of like, fucking, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like, just swearing all the time. It's like super off putting yeah, from this, like, yeah. fucking 10 year old girl. <laughs> this 10 year old girl. Yeah. Man. <laughs> you're like holy shit yeah it's pretty funny man i love that, I love that. But yeah but yeah no, that yeah that's how i got the name that's awesome man uh, community i yeah kind of... i had all these fucking like <laughs> theories in my mind going into it i'm like i wonder where that fucking came from <laughs> if you're if you're gonna look back at your entire discography what mm. is the track or work that you're most proud of God, I'm trying to... I want to say... Oh. Last Resolve. I did, like... Oh, Kill, though. Kill was a fun one to make. Kill oh, was really fun. On God Wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill was... Uh, I don't know, though. I'm kind of stuck between Last Resolve on Magnetron 3 and Kill on God Wave. Because, um... All those are good. Kill was such a f drastic change of what I was, like, usually making. Like, because it, it's not super drastic, but... It's very different to, mm -hmm. like, the stuff that was before. That was my favorite track on God Wave. Ah, oh, I appreciate you. Yeah, dude. God, I actually, I love Genuine. watching your reaction to it. I've seen it a few times. I've seen oh, it yeah? a few times. Just, just when I'm feeling down, I was watching you just be like, oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> that fucking makes me happy to hear. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah. But, yeah, I, yeah so I'll probably say Kill. That's one I'm probably most proud of at the moment. And, uh, but there's a few tracks on this coming album uh that i'm very proud of mostly the one with hunter norton yeah incredible it's a great it's a, i think it's a banger <laughs> yeah, of a track dude. i'm gonna talk myself up but yeah it's it's, it's dude, that's awesome Opus. 
That's, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Talk yourself up all the way, man. I'm yeah. excited to hear this. And, um, but it's going to be a bit whiplash once I've, cause I've started the next album now, or I might be an EP. I haven't decided yet, but there's going to be a bit of whiplash going from this one to that one. Cause this next one, I don't know why, but I'm very synth poppy mood. So it's going to be a oh, lot hell yeah, lighter. Dude. Yeah. It's a lot lighter, a lot, um, more French. I've been listening to a lot of French sort of funk nice. recently. So oh, like yeah. I've been getting it down to that. Yeah. Like there's this one, um, EP I've been on repeat recently called, uh, yeah, it's called Intimate Funk, and it's just like this really, You're giving really me homework. tasteful. Yeah, yeah, I am. You gotta listen to it and let me know what you think. Oh, dude, I I love me some funky <laughs> music, so I'm excited for that. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, just, just wrote funky. Tasteful. I wrote intimate funky because I said funk. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, I think it's funk. No, F-O-N-K. yeah, I, uh, yeah. Oh, F O N K. <laughs> yeah, F O N K. Funk. Uh, yeah, funk. Funk. Intimate. Funk. F- oh, it's French funk. 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 Yeah, yeah, funk. French funk. Uh, <laughs> funk. No, it's, 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 it's a funk. Just, just we funk. Just we un funk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. But yeah, I've listened to that, so that's kind of inspired me recently. And uh, I don't okay, know. Okay, okay. And it's been fun. It's been fun writing sort of lighter stuff. It's been a nice change of pace. I'm so used to just writing, trying to make everything as heavy and like the drops yeah. hit hard and shit like that. Yeah. So I was trying to make the drops hit nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of be like, ooh, that's... Oh. Yeah, get down to that. Ooh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling that. I always yeah. love that nice fucking, especially when you get yeah. some sweet bass in there that just like... You can j- mm. dance vibe to that uh, bass. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Man, like, a, I, I, a good I, bass line just can carry me through anything. Oh, but have you have you listened to Sleep Token at all? No. The band. I'm mean, okay. I'm writing it <laughs> no, down no, too, bro. Right. I'm writing, <laughs> no, fuck. I'm writing it down. Sleep Token. We got lots <laughs> to go through, that. dude. <laughs> Sleep Token. Um, they they're like a progressive sort of metal band. Okay. They released this track recently called um, "The Summoning." It blew up. They went from like two hundred thousand listeners to one point seven million in like a couple weeks. Holy fuck! Which is insane. Yeah. yeah, which is insane. And uh, that song specifically blew them up. But it was like this really super heavy, like sort of progressive metal track. And the guy's singing. He's got an incredible voice. Super unique voice. And but the ending to the song is just straight. It just switches to funk. And it's just like the. And it just makes you. It's that same feeling where you're like expecting this like another breakdown gonna come, and then it's <laughs> yeah. like, huh? You're like, oh. Oh. So, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Oh, it's so that's weird. wicked. Yeah. <laughs> And it's so good. Who did that yeah, really well too was uh, August Burns Red. I can't remember what track they have, but oh. it likes it like turns western. Oh yeah, yeah. I it's like dun 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 dun. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? But I loved it. I was like, oh right, dude. And it's like even has like whistles in it. I'm pretty sure it's just yeah. like went full fucking western and then goes back in his fucking classic yeah. August Burns Red. And I was Burns Red, yeah. I can't remember what that track is. Yes. Something about the tide turning the tide or fucking rising tide or something. I think it has something with I'll, the tide in it. But I'll I'll, there, I'll, let, I'll go for a look and try and find the one you're talking about. And um, I'll let you know what I think of it. So I'll, 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 I'm going to self-assign myself some homework. Yeah, there we go. Thank you so much. Yep. <laughs> yep. August Burns Red. I haven't listened to them for ages. <laughs> yeah, it's an old track by theirs. It's not like yeah. a new track. And it, it's uh, uh, okay, yeah. it, it's not funk, though. It's it's like a Western. But it's you know it's, yeah, yeah. it still has that same yeah, kind yeah, of feel. Yeah, that, that same kind of feel to it. Yeah. Takes you by yeah. surprise. 
Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's cool, that's man. So does that mean that your album that's being released, your upcoming album with New Retro Wave is complete? Yeah, it's it's I yeah, it's done. Oh, I wait, really gotta stop um We should no, no, stop no, talking okay. about this? No 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 no, that's fine. I was just gonna say I really gotta stop announcing it before I get the okay from New Retro Wave that I'm because I like announced it like probably like two or maybe the start of last year or <laughs> at the end of two th- twenty one. And I was yeah. like, Yeah, it's done. And then people are like, when is this album coming out? I'm like, ah, Retro Rave is going to release in 2023. <laughs> like, about I got to stop saying that. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Like, I got to stop saying that it's done. I got to, I got to, I get so excited. I'm like, hey, I finished it. I'm going to post and be like, yeah, hey, yeah. everyone's done. And then, yeah. Oh, it's hard not but to be there. It is, it is finished. And um, 12 tracks. The first one came out recently, Beatdown. Yeah. That was the first single. Enjoyed it. Which Fucking is, uh, very metal influenced, I found. It is super. This The first half of this album is just very metal. Very nice. Metal influenced. Very uh, metal and electronic and a bit industrial too. So, like, Hell it's yeah. very. Um, so, that's the first. The second half, it kind of goes back a bit more to a bit synthy sort of stuff. But, mm-hmm. well. Pretty classic kick puncher, I think. I think that's classic. The second half is very classic kick puncher style. Yeah. But yeah. But um, yeah, no. So it's done. It's finished. I'm just uh, waiting to see release the next couple of singles and then we'll release the album. So it's definitely coming. Nice. So it's, it's definitely coming. It's on the way. It's finished. It's complete. It's coming out this the next year. Next one. It's coming out this year for sure. Hell yeah. Absolutely. I promise. I swear on. I swear on you. On me? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't yeah, swear so on me. Yeah, no. so it doesn't. <laughs> I don't like this. This is not a good deal. This is not good. That's <laughs> Don't come for me. Yeah. Go to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't come for either of us, actually. Yeah, my mind. Don't go for fucking new retro wave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for them. <laughs> Uh, demand it. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we want it. Put hold some sides over the front. And be like, we want the new kick puncher. Kick album. puncher. Yeah. Twenty twenty three. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna fucking make a. <laughs> I'm gonna make an edit now. That's gonna be the sign guy that says that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a, we good, just yeah, want yeah, yeah. kick puncher's new album in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's yeah. it. So yeah, yeah, it's definitely coming. Hell yeah. And um, I'm really excited. I'm also a bit scared because, I don't know, it's not exactly what you'd expect, I guess. Like, the al- the what was the last album was pretty synthwave-y, you'd, like, uh, live, die, repeat. I'd say that was pretty pretty synthwave. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say standard. I'd say you were riding a little, you were starting to delve into, there's some metal elements in there, and I think yeah. that's why I fucking really liked it. That was actually yeah. my first kick puncher experience was lift i repeat and um i'm pretty sure the first track that i heard was fury and the (laughs) the drop in fury (laughs) dude the metal gear solid yeah Yeah. (laughs) when i heard that i fucking i was working out in my fucking carport and (laughs) i'll never forget it dude Yeah, yeah Because I was training and I'm fucking giving her, I got my headphones on and I'm pretty sure I was listening to my Discover Weekly on Spotify. This track comes on, I'm like, okay, this is fucking sick. And then fucking drop. And I was like, (laughs) I immediately, I listened to like maybe, maybe 10 or 15 more seconds. And then I stopped working out and I restarted the song. And I was, cause I was like, I was like, I need to experience this fucking track. And then from there, I went to view album, and then I played the whole album through, and and then I bought it. I bought. I, I actually. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Oh, we got the we got a physical physical. Yeah, we got a physical. Nice. With uh, very nice. Ninja Joe, Ninja Joe. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, name. Ni- ni- I think it's nin- Ninja Joe. <laughs> ninja yeah. Joe, Ninja Joe. Look at that. That's fucking sick, dude. That is a good package. That's a nice well, package. Hi. Designed that myself. <laughs> did you? You designed this package? Yeah, I did. I, I, I to, actually Tokyo Rose helped me with the vinyl. He did the uh, he did the back of the vinyl. Um, if you if anyone's got a vinyl and they want to have a look, I don't have the vinyl, did. so I actually can't, you see you I see yeah, vinyl. he did that. You see that back right there where the track listing is done. He did that. Track yeah, list. Tokyo Rose did that. 
Wicked. Yeah. Oh, maybe I won't cover it with my entire hand. <laughs> you don't uh, yeah, this thanks. one? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, shout out to Turkey Rice for actually he's a he's a cool butt of mine. He's oh, a, that's a, wicked, dude. Yeah. We chat quite a lot. We we're supposed to be doing tracks together, but we've never got around to it. Which I was going to uh, say, I, I we'll don't think I've eventually. ever seen a Tokyo Rose kick puncher track. We have. We had one, but um, we, we're trying to get someone else to be on it as well. But it, oh, uh, I don't think it ever, I don't think it ever worked out. Uh, but uh, yeah, but, but, but we'll get there. We're going to get there eventually. Yep. He recently yep. started his own label, so that's dope. Oh, wicked. Do you know what it's yeah. called? I think it's called Akuma. I'm pretty sure it's called Akuma Records. That's very suiting. Yep. I yeah. could have probably guessed that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I would have I, guessed what his label would have been called, yeah, it yeah. probably would have been Akuma. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's him and Alex have uh, yeah, started it. Cool, so, man. Good for them. Yeah, good for them. And, I actually haven't listened to Akuma 3 yet. It's cool. It's, I've heard uh, it's not, really fucking good. It's not Synthwave, though. So, yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's like 90s it's techno. Oh, Super fuck awesome. yeah. So like imagine any sort of old Need for Speed soundtrack, like oh, yeah. that sort of like DMB sort of style, yeah. and yeah, it's awesome. I actually have a few of their songs on my Need for Speed playlist that I made specific for the new one. So nice. Like, it just and it hits perfect. I need to uh, exactly. I need to follow some of your playlists. I think my playlist is called something really dumb though. Yeah, coming day and night. That's what it's called. Like like is actually it? coming. Yeah, like, yeah, come, yeah, like our, because you, of pumping. Yeah, like Arnie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love it. Yeah. I yeah, fucking love it. Day, no. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I pose out in front of 5,000 people. I get the same feeling. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific, right? <laughs> so, you know, I'm in heaven. And um, yeah, it's got Arnold by Luke Millian. I, this is a pretty classic one. Don't, like that's the uh, up, down. Oh, up, up down. Dude, yeah, did yeah. you know he has a full like Arnold Schwarzenegger has a full fucking workout playlist on Spotify that Does is it? that's it's like an album that came from I don't know if it was the late seventies or early eighties where it's about working out and it's all like has popular oh, songs from the time yeah, yeah. where he talks over and tells you how to do exercises and shit. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Do you well. have uh, Schwarzenegger by Quixotic on there? It, yep, yeah, that's it. Literally, it, the order goes Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, yeah. That's the order of the song. Has, so you have it to. Says his, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it says his that's name. Also fantastic. Dude, yeah, yeah. that song is so good. I listen, man, I listen to that song to pump me up so fucking often because yeah. of the speech that Arnold yeah, has at the so beginning. Good. It's so good. It's so fucking it, good. There's a there's another classic one which is um, Maximum Potential by Power Glove. Do you know that one? Yeah, yeah. With the uh, Dolph Lundgren, like the audio box. Fuck that's yes, so good. No, let's torture that upper body. Like it's perfect. <laughs> it's so good. Dolph is <laughs> wicked. I actually just rewatched Universal Soldier recently. Oh man, I haven't seen that in so long, but I have yeah. so many fond memories of that as a kid. It's a good so movie, man. man. I have it on tape. I got it on tape, so I watched it. I also haven't seen um. Big is it no, not big trouble in China. Showdown in Little Tokyo. Have you seen that one? No. That's it's very random. fucking close to Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Showdown in Little Tokyo. Uh, it's Brandon Lee and Dolph Lundgren. And it's like the it, it's a pretty ridiculous movie. It has the some of the wackest dialogue, but it's so entertaining. It's just a classic, just really like bro sort of action movie. Yeah. That's <laughs> what action movies are all about, man. Yeah. You can definitely check that one out. <laughs> Kick his ass, Samurai. The fucking, whatever I think of bro moments, I think of Sylvester Stallone and Apollo Creed running down the beach, man. What a scene. <laughs> like, dancing in the I, water. They're, like, splashing each other. I've actually never seen uh, Rocky. Any I of them? I haven't seen the Rocky movies. No, I haven't seen the Rocky movies. Oh, the first Rocky is actually a really good movie. Like, yeah. like a genuinely good movie. Um, The rest of them are just kind of, like classic action movies that you know hold a special place in my heart because of nostalgia yeah. but yeah. um in terms of an actually like good movie the first rocky is worth watching i'll, I'll definitely check it out yeah i've been meaning to for so long I'm like i watched rambo first blood recently and i had, oh. had seen that before but like i hadn't remember i couldn't remember much of it and i forgot how good 
good dude. that movie is and how like intense it is like it's the first rambo it's like a thriller <laughs> dude yeah it's it's yeah. a really good movie and the thing that i loved about it is it is it took on like pretty intense topics for that time like they were mm. basically talking about extreme ptsd and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the experiences yeah. that someone has coming back from a fucking war zone and after that i mean rambo 2 is like fucking it's rambo 2 it's an amazing movie <laughs> but like, it's pretty crazy like you don't even have to go far back to see movies that are you know kind of like riding the line yeah like yeah, yeah. people would fucking lose their shit now if they saw it like ace ventura man the first pet detective oh, yeah, yeah. there's the scene where um they fucking whip the pants down of, the tra- and, she, and, and then everyone's puking yeah, and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, holy <laughs> dude! Like people would fucking I, not be okay with this now. The, I think like what was the idea that she like made out with all of them or something like? Or yeah, had sex with all of them. Or I, like she that. made out with the them idea? all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She she fucking said it was her gun poking. Your gun's yeah. poking me. <laughs> So and he's fucking burns all his clothes and he's like fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah it's ridiculous but it's, man that was the different. that was the 90s that yeah, was yeah like shit was one. different like, trying to remember the second one i don't know did it have anything like that not really it really had no yeah. it was no. just i i watched the second one a lot more than i watched the first same one. here the first the first one's actually really good though i rewatched yeah, it Yeah, it is. It i is, have it them is both funny. on tape and the first one's probably more like adult oriented adult, than yeah. the second one so yeah. i think it makes sense why i watched when nature calls more but the second one has a lot more crass jokes i feel yeah like, just like the whole thing was like your balls are showing and shit like that. right yeah bumblebee tuna that shit always the fuck i still say that like my everyday life chicago <laughs> got you Chico, go. <laughs> you're out of here go <laughs> out <around. laughs> <Go> on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Go, go. Oh, oh fucking good movie. Ace or <laughs> uh, Jim Carrey, man. What a guy. Yeah, love, love. have you seen any uh the new Sonic movies? I've only seen the first one, but No, I've been told I look kinda like Eggman though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not wrong. I, I, I don't think I, need, I think it's I it's think a muzzy. It's, it's a bald head yeah. and the muzzy for sure. <laughs> yeah, I need I need like the uh, yeah, it the, is. The little, <laughs> <laughs> I need the little round glasses. But uh, you oh. know what? That's okay. I mean, I don't. I don't think my body is quite Eggman. No, no you, but, you look uh, like in great shape. Fantastic. You look like I'm all right. Damn weights. Yeah. Oh my, it's all right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I'm not quite Eggman though. That's that's good. No, 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 definitely not Eggman. But uh, but Jim Carrey in that is hilarious. Like it's really funny. Like he's. I didn't expect to like laugh so much at the, at the Sonic movie. It was pretty good. It was a. Uh, a lot of fart jokes, though. For some reason, they love the fart jokes in oh, weird. this new Sonic movie. Yeah. But, um... Man, I fucking that... love the Sonic <laughs> game on Dreamcast. It was really good. Really good on Dreamcast. Yeah. I played the original Sonic, like, on Sega Game Gear, which was also wicked. I remember fucking... That thing got me through a lot of road trips as a kid. I think... But... The, I, I don't think I played... I played Sonic on, like, a Game Boy. It was, oh, I, yeah. it was likely fan, the yeah. same as on Game Gear, but Game Gear was just like in color and probably looked a little better. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, true. I think that was the only Sonic I played, yeah. Yeah. I Actually... Never, I never super got into Sonic. <laughs> no, and I... I <laughs> feel bad because there's someone who's in my Discord channel who was actually one of the animators in the Sonic oh, movies, true. and I haven't seen them, and I just said that I hadn't seen them, so... But you know what? Here's a perfect thing. If he doesn't watch this, then he's also a piece of shit. And I'm a piece of yeah. shit for not watching the movies. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. If he calls me out, then then I'll know. If not, then well, he hey, hasn't I'm, watched I'm, this I'm, anyway. So I'm going to say you, you did a fantastic job. Sonic looks great. It looks yeah, incredible in that dude, movie. Yeah, the, did well. the fucking scenes in it are pretty... <laughs> I've seen... I, saw, I watched the trailers he posted in the Discord and stuff. And like some of the scenes look pretty incredible. CGI yeah, is fucking really? nuts nowadays. CGI is nuts. CGI is crazy. I haven't watched the new Avatar yet. But I was just about to ask, looks, man. I was about that looks crazy. It's that great. Looks, that's insane. It's, it's really great. good. Yeah, I really oh, yeah. enjoyed it, man. Me and my girlfriend went and saw it like I don't know two or three weeks ago, 
and uh it was great it was a good movie it was lived in the world felt so real they did such a good job with the world building it didn't feel like three three plus hours True. um it was oh, yeah. uh it was a good movie it was really enjoyable i thought they did a great job i um yeah i really want to see it there's like i think the only other movie i could think of where it felt like it didn't feel like a long time was the bat bit the new the new batman movie i love that movie oh yeah Rob with Buffalo's um head. what's his face uh rob rob pattinson oh i knew his name was rob i couldn't think of the last name yeah. i thought he was good batman <laughs> man i fucking called it yeah. i fucking called yeah, it people it. were like going off saying he wasn't gonna be a good batman and i fucking said it from the start i'm like he's gonna be a good batman i have been rob obsessed <laughs> since uh like 2010 oh baby okay? i've been all, I've been all <laughs> over his shit since a long time, so I knew he was gonna kill it. I oh. knew he was gonna kill it. <laughs> okay, explain to me how you've been rob obsessed. Okay. What well, started this? What started this rob session? I was into a girl in high school, and her favorite thing was Twilight. So I went to the movies to watch Twilight with her. And I ended up not minding it. I was like, okay, this is all right. The first one. The rest were pretty dog shit. I'm not going to lie. They're not good movies. <laughs> but okay. I ended up just being like, this Robbie Pattinson guy is cool. Like, he's, he seems all right. So, and then he released another movie called Water for Elephants. And I was like, oh, yeah, this guy can act. I knew it. I knew this guy could act. I knew it was just a shit writing and it was shit casting. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, ever since then, I was, I was obsessed. I just wanted to watch everything he was in. And uh, there was a movie in 2013 called The Rover. It's an Australian one with Guy Pearce. Excellent. His acting in that is impeccable. Wow. Like Rob Pattinson absolutely killed it in that. All right. All Made right. me cry. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very, it's like a bit of a post apocalyptic sort of nice. Um, I'm into it. Drama. Yeah. Drama. But it's like sort of grounded post apocalyptic. So, okay. It's not necessarily like, you know, <clears throat> nuclear wasteland. It's like uh, more like the economy's in the shithole. <laughs> ah. Like, so, yeah. Yeah. More grounded, more real. Like, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, but yeah, it's really great. And then you know, then he did uh, uh, uh what's that movie? Good Times. Good Time. Have you seen? That's another classic. No. Good Times. He was uh, in Lighthouse. Lighthouse, dude. Holy Lighthouse, yeah. fuck! Unreal. That 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 movie was insane. Oh, so him good. and Willem Dafoe. The, the chemistry. Oh my the God. chemistry was palpable. Defoe is so fucking good too. Anything Defoe's Defoe. in, I'll watch. Yeah. I'm like Defoe in. Defoe. I'm in. I'm in. God, I uh. That movie also had a surprising amount of fart jokes in it as yeah. well. Yeah, <laughs> that was the, it was funny. It was a way funnier yeah. than I thought it was gonna be. And that, oh, that was I a good that. movie, dude. Yeah, that was so good. And uh, yeah, and then uh, so I I was always being like, yeah, Patson, he's gonna kill Batman. He's gonna kill it. I just know it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no doubt in my mind. Yeah. I enjoyed it, but man, I've uh, I've talked about this a lot recently. I have major superhero fatigue, so it's very difficult uh, for me to like go into a movie that's a superhero movie and not be like already burnt out of it. Yeah, yeah but I I fucking I love comics. Like I'm more into the darker shit. Like I love like Vertigo, DC's Vertigo line, like fucking Sandman, mm. and, and then I also like Punisher Max is my favorite fucking comic ever. It's yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I read that one too. The Max line is so good. Garth Ennis is an unreal fucking writer, and um, anyway, I I really I like comics. I like yeah. comic I... book characters, but the just whole Disney machine, Marvel machine, really just like fatigued me with. Uh, it's just the same thing, pumping out the same thing constantly. That kind of made me just like. And mm. Thor Ragnarok is fucking incredible. Like, so much. Yeah. Taika Waititi is just a genius. Anything he makes, yeah, yeah. I'll watch because it's so fucking good. Funny. I loved uh, Fly the Concords when oh, I was a dude. teenager. Same here, I man. I love it so much. I had yeah. such a fucking good show. The songs nice. are so funny. I still love singing that yeah. fucking... Me? Uh, oh, the... yeah, me, one of my... Oh, sorry, you go. No, no, I was just talking about the, the one song about uh, the most beautiful girl in the room that oh, fucking yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah. so funny dude uh, my, my favorite one was like the what was the the one where there's like a um, parody of same girl but and it's like 
Something about the chicken, like, did she have a lazy eye? She's like, she's looking <laughs> at my buns. She, <laughs> she had an eye on my guns. She might have had a slight lazy eye. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh, dude, those yeah, guys me, are so funny. Yeah, me and my friend used to play their songs at, like, um, talent shows and shit when we were in high oh. school. Like, we used to do the uh, Hip Hop Epotamus and the Rhinoceros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that, and... It was a robot one. I can't remember, but yeah, we used to think it was the funniest shit. And Dude. it still is. It honestly is so good. Oh yeah. The show is I weird. used to sing it to my ex girlfriend when we were dating though. Yeah, yeah. And I would sing the most beautiful girl in the room and I thought it was the funniest fucking thing ever because of the fucking <laughs> lyrics in it, man. <laughs> Looking to... around the room, I can tell that you <laughs> are the most beautiful girl, <laughs> girl. in the yeah room <laughs> in the whole wide room <laughs> i used to sing to my ex uh, like business business time yeah <laughs> like, it's business <laughs> it's business time you know what i'm trying to say i'm trying to get down it's business time Ooh, <laughs> and i got my business socks <laughs> <laughs> oh shit i oh, still shit. quote fucking that one scene too when um I can't remember what the American is named Dave. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. When they're talking, so, yeah. when the manager is like, he maybe did, and he's like, he maybe did what? And he's like, no, <laughs> he maybe did. He maybe did. He maybe did. <laughs> he's like, what did he do? No, he maybe did. <laughs> oh, dude, fuck that scene, man. I fucking still laugh about that uh, all the time. I, I... I love about the one where Murray buys them um, stars. Murray, that's but, his name. Yeah, Murray, yeah. Murray buys stars. And then, uh, but Jermaine stars has already died. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> it's like, so what's this? It's like, you get your own star. <laughs> it's like, oh, that looks like, but because they're from like, <laughs> it was like something 100 million years ago, I think yours is dead. <laughs> Jermaine, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Yes. Oh, uh, it's a fucking good show. Okay, man. I want to do like a something I've never done before. It's like a little, Ooh. a little game kind of thing where I, okay. I name, I give you one of your track names, and you respond with one word that sums up what that track is to you. Okay. Okay. So we'll start with we'll start with easy ones. Recall. Ooh, recall. Ah, uh, total. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I thought. That's exactly what I thought, dude. Hunter Killer. Terminator. Okay, now we're going to get into different ones because I'm curious yeah. about these ones. Beat Down. Ah, uh, Doom. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, now this one, I'm like, I have no fucking clue. X-649176. X-Files. Okay, is there it's the, it's, anything it's else the in the first there? X-Files case. That whole that was actually like a <laughs> going through that. So something else is an X-Files uh concept album, I think. Oh like shit. That's theory. what the pyramid yeah. is and yeah, like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, actually, now something else pyramid, makes that, sense. That's what I was going for. I definitely did not have the rights to use that image, but we're just going to keep that hush hush. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't we didn't say that on the internet. Yeah, I was just a little. Yeah, I was. I was underage. Just give me a line. Eleven eighteen. Um, that was the time. Or I guess well, like, I'm supposed to be one word. Oh. Is it supposed to be one word, or is like I don't know one 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 eight. What is no no? It, you can oh. go in a little more because it's cool for me to learn too. But yeah, okay. Uh, that was just the time I finished making that track. That was just the oh off. okay. Stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven eighteen. Boom. I am done. Mm. Lasers in the mist. Hmm. Um. Shit. <laughs> Trying to remember a, any uh, lasers in the mist. I I mean, I think nightclub, and uh, I think it was a Terminator reference. Oh, okay, like sure. tech noir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, and like the laser, like like yeah. Oh, I think that was the idea. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I I don't know. Maybe I think. Yeah. Maybe. I'm going with that. Fox die. Ah, oh, Metal Gear Solid. Okay, that's kind of what yeah. I thought. Because you also have a track <laughs> called Fox, so I was wondering if that was related. You have Fox, and that's... then you have Fox die. But yeah, that fo the first one, Fox, is Fox Mulder. Ah, because that's on yeah, something yeah. else. That, yeah, yeah. That's there we it. go. That's it. There we go. Enter the Darkness. 
that power glove. I'm pretty sure that was that a power. I think that was a power glove ripoff. Okay, sure. that one's off of Night at uh, Fortress Hill. Fortress Hill, yeah. Enter the darkness. Wait, is it? Nah, I can't remember. I haven't listened to that in so long. I'm, to, I'm getting, I'm getting all mixed up with what tracks are which. I think that was a power glove re- like a uh, ripoff that I heard. I mean, I made, and I wanted to like try and make a power glove track that was like really interesting, at least. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna yeah power glove. <laughs> okay, let's let's talk a bit about those recall. So obviously that one was based off of Total Recall, and that was off your first EP ever. Yeah, yeah. So that was, uh, I think, I was trying to go for my soundscapey stuff. I don't know. I used to like try and picture the movies and stuff in my head while I was, while I was making it. That was like yeah. my go-to sort of thing. Did and, you uh, picture Quato? <laughs> I did. Oh, Quato. <laughs> he. Quato is disgusting, but his theme that plays when he's, you see him is very nice. It's a very, very beautiful uh, piece of music that plays when you're going looking into his fucking eyeball that is so off putting. <laughs> or whatever he fucking says. Yeah. Quaint, quaint, or I don't know what he fucking says. What do you want, Mr. Quaint? <laughs> but yeah, no, so I think I was. Um, we just picture things and I don't know. And then I'll just make the music and I'll be like, all right, recall. Yeah. Total recall. Let's just name it something like that. And it kind of like, you know, gets people going. It doesn't have to exactly sound like it's from right. It, but I think you hit that sort of nostalgia point. People are like, oh, this song's named after this thing. Like, uh, totally. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Uh, ha, totally. I didn't mean to do that. Totally. To- totally I, recall. I, I totally recall. that. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, I wouldn't say, like, Perturbators, Humans are Such Easy Prey, sounds like it's from, from beyond. But, mm-hmm. like, it definitely sits right. Like, mm-hmm. the, the, the title sits right with that track. So, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Hunter Killer. Ah, oh, Terminator. Yeah. yeah. Any... Also, also Carpenter Brute. That was, uh, I, I was very inspired by Carpenter Brute when writing that one. Nice. Do you ever yeah. pick the names of the tracks before you write the tracks or is it always after or is it during usually during yeah usually i'll come up with the name during yeah the tracks before uh gibberish they're just a bunch of letters and numbers i actually really need to stop doing that because i lose track of everything that i'm working on yeah because the names are this like absolute because i'll be like i don't know what to name this so i'll just be like uh da, 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 da. yeah that'll do Right, and then I'll be like, "What the fuck was that track I just made the other oh, day?" And it yeah. sounded cool. Now I've lost it. But then I go through them all, and eventually I find it. But... Just a train of thought, like whatever your train of thought is, you just write it down and fucking yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, that's it. So like, I'll I'll give you some examples because I've got a ridiculous amount. <laughs> so, oh, look off. Oh, there's okay. So we've got <laughs> we've got anime, Andy. And Andy, Booty. Andy, question mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brute 23, Club Ooh. Banger. Does Creep. does Andy actually have a question mark behind it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, Andy? And there's, there's, there's one just like CTH. <laughs> there's Cyberpunk. There's Daff Hustafer. There's just a bunch of letters. Dancy. And I've got Daniel. Uh, deathbeds was Daniel Daniel uh, Deluxe maybe it's got I think little... I think Daniel Daniel's my brother so maybe I made a track for him oh, okay shout out to Daniel he's got a track <laughs> named after yeah. him I I got one called definitely not Doom uh, <laughs> then after that I've got Doom 4 and then I've got Doom 2 which I think you can tell where I'm getting the inspiration from and then I've got one called Faster Fast uh <laughs> I got a song called Hesse. I think I was trying to spell heavy, but I mistyped. I think I hit a typo and it's Hesse instead. <laughs> uh, groove. Uh, kill. Actually, Kill was the running title for Kill. So there you go. There that we one, that go. That one. Yeah. I want to see if Andy question mark makes it on the next yeah, album. Makes- <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, then, uh, I've got Sad Times. Damn, must have been a rough time run that one. Sounds uh, sad. Punk, uh, punk, punk as fuck. Nice. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah. Punkin' <laughs> punk Drublick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's so... 
I don't know what any of those are, to be honest. I have to open them up to find out what the fuck they That's are. That's hilarious. So, yeah. Well, was... uh, yeah, I was gonna ask, oh. what's next for, uh, what's next for you? What's next for Kick Puncher? You got an album coming out this year? What else is going on? Good. I've got an album coming out this year. I'm working on the next album. It's probably going to be a more vocal synth pop album. So vocal? I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to be trying working, not me per se, but some other people. So I'm, I might I might do a little couple, some backing vocals, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah a couple of okay. Little, yeah, yeah. Little, little. Couple. Little, little, yeah, little teasers over there. Looking <laughs> around the but, room. <laughs> room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, but apart from that, yeah, not nothing much really. I was mostly working on some side projects recently. Um, yeah, you were saying uh, that when we were talking before. Stuff. What uh, yeah. what side projects are you working on? It's I'm working on a band. The name's called Red Letter Valentine, and um, we're well, it's just me at the moment actually. My bandmates are like really far away, so I haven't been able to practice with them. But written an EP and uh, recorded it, and just basically getting the drums done but then i'm going to put it out and hopefully see what happens and hopefully play some gigs around the local area sort of thing nice hell yeah so that's what i've been doing but writing that music has actually helped me heaps with writing kick punch stuff because it's like giving me a whole new sort of alley like way of thinking of writing and like yeah so it's that's why this next album is going to be like real different because it's just like kind of taking inspiration from what i've written with this band stuff because band stuff it's kind of like a mix between alternate rock a little metal like it has breakdowns and Stuff like that but it's not just overly heavy so i'd say i'd right. say it's like maybe heavy alternative maybe well yeah alternative metal i don't know i don't know the terms we don't know genres man fuck yeah, it we yeah, won't we, <laughs> fuck it. I'm, i give up i give up it's, Who just, knows? it's, it's got a guitar it's rock someone will, <laughs> someone will fucking call it something <laughs> yeah someone will yeah, someone yeah, call so something. try that and i have another side project which is uh me and my one of my friends want to make a comedy rap group called little, the cheese boys a little side piece and uh yeah, where we talk, sing about cheese a lot. Nice. And, uh, different kinds? Um, yeah, different kinds. We had this one line, you know, which I was really proud of, which is like, so it, it like has that bit, little little sort of interlude in the track where it like has this sort of spoken bit where it's talking about how um my character, I can't remember what my character's name is, but it's like, yeah, he has like a, <laughs> been caught having like a, a sexual altercation with a slice of cheese or something like that and the line is like it's like yeah i thought about fucking some cheese here i admit it but i never went through with it so can we get me acquitted <laughs> <laughs> that's it yeah that's that's the line of kelvin i thought it was hilarious <laughs> that is hilarious <laughs> and yeah so we're trying to we yeah, so I've got a couple of different side projects going on. It's fun. I want to hear more to about yeah. the the cheese fucker project, but <laughs> cheese boys, cheese boys, yeah. cheese boys. Yeah, I, and there's like I made a track the other day, which is like a boy band track, and um, <laughs> and it's 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 really good. I love it. I like it. I sent it to my mates, and they were just like, "Yeah, this is this is great." This Dude, is great. so that's awesome, man. That you can have fun making shit like that is just fucking wicked. Yeah, I honestly not taking it seriously is one of the funnest parts of it. Absolutely, like that, man. Yeah, because as soon as you like give yourself a bit of leeway and because writing the band stuff, it was it was fun and it was fun, but I was like focusing a lot on it and I was really trying to like you know be personal, very very personal about it. But once you strip that away, yeah, my god, you can do some really fun shit. Like, Absolutely, yeah, not take it seriously. It's like yeah, don't need to stick to any genre norms. You can just yeah. do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Just do what you want and do it because you enjoy doing it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fucking. It. It's liberating. Oh man! Holy shit! We've been talking for like two and a half hours. Holy fuck! Yeah, man. I it's, am dead. Yeah, it's uh, it's gone <laughs> by damn. quickly. The uh, two two things. One thing that yeah. I always forget that I'm not gonna forget right now, especially because of all of our discussions before, is I always like it. If the guest can give me their best Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm gonna think. I can't see. I could go. I could go two ways. I could go really like you know over the top, or I could talk, talk about it like Gammy, like it's uh, I, I balls up in front of ten thousand people, and I'm coming day and night. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did he say? Uh, 
do you know how much I am in heaven? Like I'm coming, I'm posing, I'm posing in front of five thousand people. Like that's it. Okay, okay, <laughs> that was great. Now, now do your uh, over the top, over the top, Arnold too. That's gonna be get to the get to the chopper. <laughs> nice. That wasn't yeah, bad. Was that was a good fucking chopper. Oh wait, wait. There, there's a there's another one I will do real quick. It's just like you know, have you seen Commando? Of course you've uh, seen Commando. Yeah, oh yeah. Of course. I mean, why even ask? It's the part where he's like, it's over here like, somewhere. You, you, you fuck, you fucking with the green berets. He's like, I eat green berets for breakfast, and I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I eat green berets for breakfast, and right now I'm very hungry. I can't believe this macho bullshit. <laughs> oh man, I love his lines. <laughs> I can't remember what he says. Oh man, I wish I knew the whole fucking line, but he's like. <laughs> But I hope you left enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your fucking stomach! Or, uh, oh, yeah. or like break your goddamn it. spine! <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 that's uh, what the, is that Running Man? Is okay. it Running Man? Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah, I can't yeah, remember what that was from. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going for my fist in your stomach because I'm going to ram it and rip out your spine or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Some, so <laughs> like that. That's a fucking good line. You called Platter Bastard. I'll tell you what I think of it. I live to see you eat that contract. But I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach and break your goddamn spine! Ah! That's a great one. My I used to watch the... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, did you see, like, the, on YouTube, there was, like, the compilation? Which is oh, yeah. Quotes? It's, like, it 15 like, minutes. I... Yeah, yeah. It's I the best. Those all the fucking it's time. the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just watch them. Just sit down. Uh, bullshit. Yeah, that's, bullshit. That's my... bullshit. 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 <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. No, put that cookie down. Yeah. No. <laughs> Bring the toys back it. to the carpet. <laughs> Take Bring it back. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Yeah. Man. The editing is just perfect. In so show. fucking good. Kindergarten Cops, one of my favorites. I think I, my, oh, yeah. my favorite oh, yeah, fucking yeah. Arnold line probably is still from Total Recall, dude. When he fucking... Oh, D arms Michael Ironside and he oh, falls yeah, to yeah, his yeah, death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see you at the party, Richter. Party. <laughs> yeah, see you at the party, Richter. Yeah. That's like <laughs> my favorite. One of my favorite fucking Arnold lines. There's actually there's a pretty good um, Total Recall meme that's like kind of trending on TikTok at the moment, which is like the part where he's getting carried out. And he's like, "What the fuck did I do wrong?" <laughs> like, what, like, what the fuck? <laughs> And it's just like, yeah, it always puts up like, like a uh, good caption about like, you know, getting kicked out of like a pub for some reason. Right. And it's just like, yeah, but it's, it's, it just goes so well. It's just like, oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's good shit, man. Okay. And, uh, fucking let everyone know where they can find you. All right. You can find me on, uh, I think I've got Facebook. Just look up kick puncher, Insta kick puncher. Just basically look up kick puncher and you should find me. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, and, man. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out on new Retro Wave for some more singles and a uh, new album. And I hope you like it. That's it. Fuck yeah, yeah. man. Thanks, Thanks a lot for Thank sitting you. down. It's been awesome. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's been awesome. Heaps of fun.